Okay, so we're going to make the trade uh, using uh, integrated microelectronics as our stock for today. Na kunsin ko kasi tong volume ng IMS IMI medyo mataas so tinignan ko kung okay siyang i-day trade using itong 1 minute uh, chart natin at mukhang maganda siya so gagawin natin try sa portfolio natin sa investigrams at uh, i-add natin ang IMI 10,000 shares kailangan pag nag day trade ka, mabilis ka dito hindi pwede mo bagal so board lot is 100 uh, 10,000 uh, pesos worth so for 100 ilan lang, ilan yun? 1,000 so gawin natin uh, 800 700 yan, buy okay tingnan natin itong kasayang tumasta siya Alright, so maganda pinapakita nitong stock na to sa chart ko. Uh, may na-develop akong bago system. Uh, introduce ko tong system na to later on. Pagka na-verify ko na, na nag-work siya. Mukhang okay naman. But according to my backtesting uh, na ginawa ko the whole day today, mukhang okay naman siya. Uh, so far, uh, makikita natin na pataas tong, itong price ng uh, IMI at uh, dahil nakita natin sa overbought oversold uh, chart at uh, graph natin sa dito sa ibang baba nakita natin na pataas siya so and with volume so uh, isipan ko pasukan siya sa ating uh, investigram uh, virtual trade portfolio okay so Tignan natin kung anong mangyayari sa kanya Once na umabot na tayo sa oversold uh, Overbought At uh, Okay, overbought, oversold na yung ating uh, OBOS uh, indicator dito sa bandang ibaba uh, Or gitna ng ating charts At uh, dahil at ang tinas lang niya is uh, 2 cents uh, Hayaan lang natin siya umakit ulit Pero uh, dahil nasa over, so, overbought siya may tendency itong uh, bumaba at at pwede rin naman siyang uh, magstay sa board ng uh, overbought area okay habang pataas pa so subaybayan lang natin itong stock na ito okay okay so tumaas ng um, 2 cents ang IMI after a few minutes makikita natin nag maintain siya dito sa ating uh, OBOS indicator uh, natin at uh, habang, habang tinatahak niya ang uh, overbought area patuloy itong tataas at uh, kanina naman uh, may inad din ako, may tinatest din ako na stock which is yung JFC um, so nung pinasukan ko siya kanina nandito sa two, uh, 240 Ngayon, nasa 280 na. So, tingnan natin ang uh, portfolio natin sa Investigrams. Kung uh, kamusta na ang ating uh, profit. Alright. So, makikita natin na ang JFC. Pumasok ako siya. Pinasok ako siya noong uh, 206.40. Ngayon, 206.80. 40 cents later. Makikita natin ang profit natin is still, uh, you know, na underwater pa rin tayo. Dahil nga dito sa ating uh, mga fees. Okay? So, sa mga newbies, uh, just a little expectation na pag nagtitrade kayo, you have to take cons uh, to consideration yung mga fees na involved sa pagtitrade sa market. Okay? So, nandiyan yung commissions at uh, kung ano-ano pa. Alright, so, uh, ating including na yung taxes dyan sa mga fees na yan. So, anyway, uh, JFC, kahit 40 cents ahead uh, tayo, I'm um, still below 
0.90% at ang IMI kahit na uh, 4 cents above na tayo I'm still below uh, 0.83% naman okay so isa sa mga uh, sining trade ko dito sa portfolio ko is yung uh, ano ano kung nakita niyo yung um, ano bang stock yun uh, na tumaas talaga ng gusto um, tignan natin itong list ko uh, SSI ano ano kung naalala niyo yung SSI isa siya sa mga fast moving stock natin um, lately so tignan natin ang SSI So, isa ito sa mga tasiling trade ko dito sa aking Investigram portfolio a few, uh, about two weeks ago. So, makikita natin ngayon, uh, sideways ang trend nyo dito sa ating minute chart. So, kung detail trade nyo ito, uh, hintayin nyo munang gumalaw pataas. Okay, so, uh, kung titignan natin yung portfolio ko uh, um, I had 10,380 pesos dito sa original na 100,000 dahil yan sa SSI na trinate ko, sining trade ko over the past few days okay so uh, so tinanggal ko na siya dito sa aking portfolio para lang makita natin ng gusto itong performance ng itong dalawang stock na to or mga stocks na tinitest ko sa, dito sa aking bagong system okay so itong system ko uh, based ito sa green Uh, yellow, red uh, uh, moving uh, average indicators or lines so once ang green uh, ay nasa ibabaw, ibabaw ng yellow at ang yellow nasa ibabaw ng red yan ang uh, pinaka pinaka best uh, scenario natin uh, sa pagtitrade Okay, so in, in the case of uh, SSI, makikita natin na ang nag-line up ang green, yellow, and red. So habang ganyan ang uh, scenario natin, uh, most likely ang, ang stock nito ay pa, pataas. Okay, so hintay lang natin gumalaw itong uh, price ng SSI bago natin pasukan. Alright, so uh, tingnan natin naman yung ibang uh, stock natin. Uh, JFC. Okay, JFC. So makikita natin nag-line up yung uh, green, yellow, and red. Banda rito. Kaya ako siya pinasukan kanina. So makikita natin oh, uh, tumakas ang pressure na stock because of that. So yun ang in-expect natin sa SSI. Okay? At uh, ang IMI naman. So makikita natin ang green uh, nag-intersect siya dito po umibabaw siya dito sa yellow so uh, makukonsider ko itong point na ito sa reversal point okay so hopefully um, tuloy-tuloy siya pataas at once na nag line up at uh, once na umibaba itong red uh, trend line natin sa baba ng green at yellow yun ang ultimate uh, ultimum uh, scenario natin at uh, hopefully by that time tataas na siya pataas okay so uh, at this point uh, IMI is still over uh, bot dito sa OPOS sa uh, indicator natin so hintay lang natin siyang tumaas okay uh, habang uh, lunch break pa sa Philippine stock market gusto ko muna ipakita sa inyo kung saan ko nakita itong mga uh, high volume stocks so kung pagpunta kayo sa fm.adb fn.com makikita nyo dito sa may bandang um, top list nya yung mga list of uh, percent gainers and uh, percent losers for today at nandiyan na rin yung volume and trade so tinignan ko tong uh, mga stocks na nandito sa volume side based on uh, uh, number of volume okay so dyan ko nakita yung um, nandiyan ko nakita yung IMI kanina uh, at the same time dyan ko nalaman na yung naalala yung SSI Okay, na-trainate ko uh, over the last week. Okay, so uh, also, tinatest ko rin yung system ko. So, wala pakita sa inyo. Dito sa um, Okay. Uh, dito sa chart na to, which is uh, Euro, USD, uh, US dollar. So, dun sa, sa inyo sa mga nag- uh, um, nagtitrade sa foreign currency so looks like itong system ko also works dito sa 
uh, for, forex okay so nakita natin uh, pinasukan ko siya kanina uh, dito sa may bandang ibaba at the same, so at from that from there nakita natin na uh, habang nandito pa siya dito sa were sold area at uh, from there nakita natin at tumaas siya ng gusto okay so from here gagawin ko dahil tinetest ko nga siya dito sa forex.com may nako account na uh, trading account test trading account na create doon so from there gagawin ko lang is uh, close na natin yung position with uh, 40 cents gain uh, based on uh, 1000 uh, as mini lat uh, micro lat lang okay just for testing Gusto mo taas na sana ito kanina ka, so uh, pumaba na siya, hindi ko siya nabangan eh. So, dapat from there on, uh, once na pumalo siya dito, or nag-red itong, nagpakita itong red signal based on my uh, trading system, dapat uh, inano ko na siya. Uh, Umexit na ako, okay? So, ngayon, uh, uh, nag-work na uh, itong system ko. Dito sa Forex, uh, i-exit ko na siya, pero nakikita ko na tumataas pa itong, nagkaroon ng uh, pull pull back pataas okay ng bounce so hindi ko muna siya mag bounce pataas uh, let's see kung may, may may hit niya ulit itong red uh, line natin bago natin i-close itong position ko with a 70 cents uh, US dollar cents uh, gain sa isang micro lot okay um all right, well, just this is just for testing purposes lang naman. So I'm just going to close my position. Okay, so gamit ko tong uh, cell phone ko to to my uh, testing to the forex. Okay? And close position there. Uh, so so All right. So tayo lang natin mag-open ng uh, market ulit para bago natin ituloy yang ating uh, pagte-test sa uh, IM Okay, habang hinihintay natin mag-open ng stock market for its afternoon session. Little trading break muna, intermission. Panorin natin tong attack ng isang uh, uh, isang attacker dito sa Clash of Plans base ko. Okay, uh, itong nangyari lang just a few minutes ago. So, I don't know sino sa inyo nang klaro ng Clash of Plans, pero ito ang base ko. This is uh, this space is completely free. Wala akong ni spend dito kahit na 1 cent. So <laughs> makikita niyo yung mga walls ko hindi kasi um uh, OP. Uh, pero at least it serves its purpose. All right, panoorin na natin tong replay ng ano attack. Ako kung interested kay diyan pero there you go. Hindi mo ko malaki ang damage na ginawa ng kanyang mga balloons. At the same time, uh, under construction pa yung tatlo kong uh, Tesla. So, hindi sila nakagawa ng major damage. Ayan. Ayan. Yan ang nagagawa pagka marami kang uh, kinoconstruct at the same time inatake ka ng isang malakas na opponent so and <laughs> almost wiped out pasok ang kanyang mga flying minions ah antake niya yung ano ko dark click circle so ubus yan 100% ba niya ako let's see 30 seconds I don't think so alright so at least uh, hindi niya na 100% tong base ko <laughs> my completely free base okay 
Huwag na enjoy nyo tong aking trading bike. Okay, so uh, balik tayo sa SSI. Open natin market uh, for its afternoon session. Nakita natin na uh, tumaas ang price ng SSI um, by few cents. So, by one cent actually. Uh, yep, tumaas pa siya lalo. So, from this point, pasukan natin siya. Patulit tayo sa ating uh, portfolio. So, by... Bilis-bilis lang pag nag-day trading. So, kung bagay lang system nyo, uh, it's not gonna do you any good. Okay, so kailangan mag-invest kayo sa magandang computer kung balak nyo mag-trade online. Alright, at magandang uh, connection din sa internet. Okay, so uh, come on, bagal. Sasay. So, uh, 1,000. So, let's say 1,000. So, bili tayo ng 2,000 for 10,000 pesos worth. So, board that is 1,000. So, yun lang. By, by thousands lang. Pwede mo rin. So, buy. Tingnan natin na ng performance yan mamaya. Alright. So, balik tayo sa ating uh, charts sa uh, Investagrams. Uh, check natin. Uh, pinasukan natin siya ng 490. So, nakikita natin na uh, uh, Ito yung ating optimal trading uh, scenario sa ating system. Uh, green over yellow over red. Okay? So, uh, yan lang natin siya. Uh, check natin yung iba nating stocks. Which is, you know, another one is IMI. Integrated Microelectronics. So, uh, still. Okay, tumaas na siya. Lalo. 1552. So, uh, which is good uh, based on our uh, in talaga ating expectation for this stock. Uh, I want to reverse it. Uh, next is uh, Jollibee, JFC. Let's see kind of perform performance ng JFC sa ating minute chart. Ah, mababa na siya. So, makikita natin from there. Uh, dahil nga nasa overbought siya area. At um, makikita natin na uh, uh, when it's overbought that point may tendency siya bumab bumaba okay so hopefully bumalik ulit siya pataas dahil nakita natin na medyo yung move na yun uh, from 206.62 down to 206.40 bumalik ulit siya dito sa oversold uh, area natin okay so since uh, we're in here we're in it for uh, para sa at, uh, para kumita hindi para matalo so so iwan lang natin to at, at pumasok naman tayo sa 206.40 so uh, at this point wala uh, zero pa rin zero zero ang loss natin except for yung fees and uh, commission uh, fees natin which commissions and taxes okay so kung titingnan natin ang uh, situation ng ating portfolio makikita natin na uh, ang JFC back to zero and tingnan natin ang performance ng ibang uh, stock natin okay dito naman sa ating forex makita natin nag bounce sya kaya dito sa isang silver bot plus over sold so kung nag-trade ako nag-trade uh, pa ako dito sa sa, sa um, Euro USD stock na to then uh, pinasokan ko siya kanina while uh, sana kung habang nasa ano sa over sold right so tingnan natin ang portfolio natin so uh, IMI still 0.83% JFC like sub 1.09% and uh, SSI uh, well what do you know JFC uh, nag bounce back siya overbought ulit siya pero nakita natin na tumaas talaga ng stone price uh, from down to 640 kanina and uh, just less than 4 5 minutes nasa 207.40 na siya alright so uh, that's a really good move pero nung chineko yung portfolio ko 
uh, even at uh, one peso uh, gain not nasa 0.61 cent profit pa rin tayo so not looking good for day trading uh, right now kung ganyan din lang alright so I still think it's uh, at this point mas maganda mag swing trading pero kung day, day trading sa malaking stock like JFC uh, kailangan man ng malaking cash para uh, kumita ka alright so uh, check natin yung ibang uh, ibang stocks pero at least malalaman natin na itong trading system natin is working okay um, based sa mga rules na sinet ko, sinet ko for this uh, for this new trading system natin alright so uh, check natin ang SSI SSI still at 490 and uh, IMI Okay, so makita natin na nag uh, nag-form na yung ating uh, optimal uh, trading scenario which is green over yellow over red. Okay? So at this point, uh, expect na natin na tumaas palalo tong presyo ng uh, IMI which right now is stands at uh, 15 pesos and 50 cents. Okay? So IMI pinasukan natin uh, around 15.46 kumita na siya ng 4 cents. Okay, back naman tayo with uh, a little more than 30 minutes to go uh, sa stock exchange natin sa PSEI. Makikita natin ng SSI is down 4.93. So at this point, I don't think it's gonna make a move. Okay, pero since maganda yung entry natin sa SSI, we can keep the stock uh, in here. Maybe for tomorrow. Check na lang. So sometimes uh, hindi kayo kikita sa day trading, uh, you have to wait the next day for a spike and hopefully by that time uh, you can uh, available ka para to do your exit. Okay? So at this point, uh, 493 with less than almost 30 minutes uh, of trading left. Uh, so I don't think it's we're going to make any profit here. Okay, so next is uh, IMI. Uh, I, IMI uh, made a really good move so again and that's optimal uh, trading situation that I am on it uh, it's been like that for the last uh, five minutes uh, seven minutes so 15.68 ang entry natin sa IMI is 15.60 no 15.46 so uh, let's see if we made any profit Finally, uh, IMI with 700 shares, I'm up 34 pesos and 82 cents with 0.32% profit. Okay, so we'll just keep the ball rolling at this point. Uh, as long as the price doesn't go below the green line, natin, <clears throat> uh, we'll keep the stock as is uh, and then exit a, li a little bit later. So check the one natin on JFC, the situation on JFC. JFC, so nakita natin nagkaroon siya ng reversal dito and right now the green uh, line is trading below the red which is uh, not a good situation to be at right now pero makita natin ang uh, OPOS uh, indicator natin is pointing upwards so we'll see if this will make a comeback so we'll assess the situation once nasa overbought na ulit ang uh, price ng stock nito okay so Let's go back to SSI. Yeah, so uh, we're at overbought, we're at oversold. Price is uh, 4.93. So we entered this stock at 4.90. So uh, very important yung entry natin, okay? Because uh, if you entered at a really good price, then you can keep the stock there, uh, hoping that uh, tomorrow will be better, a uh, better situation, okay? So price is still uh, continuing to go down so makikita natin na uh, yung trading situation natin is reversed okay so green uh, red over yellow over green na tayo so nasa bearish uh, 
situation na tayo so most likely itong stock na to will keep going down so hopefully ma-maintain natin uh, hindi tayo masyado mag uh, uh, we're not gonna lose much on this uh, on this stock while it's trending downwards so makita natin and dyan na yung simula na yung trend nya uh, we'll see kasi uh, currently ang stock is at over but uh, uh, oversold area uh, oversold zone so um, we'll just see how far this goes uh, hopefully magkaroon siya mag bounce early so that way we, we can still maintain yung uh, higher low nya okay higher high lower high but then uh, higher low so okay lang yan so that, that means the stock is still trending up generally right so dito ako excited actually uh, sa ating foreign exchange so my system is doing really well so you, as you know foreign exchange you can either trade up uh, bullish or bearish uh, trade short for uh, you know a bearish uh, profit so at this point kung uh, nag exit ka dito after a bullish trade moving up upward and then reverse main trade mo sinort mo itong euro usd on its way down at this point you're, you're still making money so uh, right now uh, we're just waiting for an entry for bullish entry dito sa euro, euro us dollar and then uh, we'll trade it upwards okay lalo na na sa over sold zone itong uh, price ng euro usd okay dito sa minute chart niya okay with 20 more minutes left sa trading day ng psc makikita natin ng ssi nagkaroon ng bounce from 489 back to 491 um, around the just a slightly above ng over sold area niya so makita natin nag bounce siya from here pag uh, brinodin mo yung winiden mo yung ano yung chart mo makikita mo na may support tayo dito sa 2 88 actually all right so at this point is nag bounce siya from support and we're still uh going up sa ating OBOS uh, indicator so uh, it's this is a good time to add more to our stock so at this point, uh, we'll go to our Investigrams uh, portfolio. Uh, hanapin natin ang SSI, hit buy, and then we'll get another 10,000 pesos worth of uh, SSI shares. Okay? Tika, SSI nga ba yun? Oh, yeah, yeah, SSI. So, in our new system, may rule din tayo when, uh, when to add more share sa existing stock natin okay all right so we have an existing 2000 so we'll add two more thousand shares ssi okay any minute now Two thousand shares hit by oh, refresh and bago na price natin so we'll see what happened. Right, so market na siya. So like I said, kung mag day trade ka, you have to be really fast, okay? Otherwise, uh, you're gonna miss your really good entry price. All right. So at this point, magita natin na nakakaroon ng bounce patas. Uh, problema nga lang is we're still at we're now at the uh, over overbought zone but we don't know if it's gonna bounce if it's gonna fall back at this point or maybe stay at the overbought zone while it's trending upwards so yan market naman siya lalo so now we're really missing our uh, really good price so at this point uh, kung na miss nyo ang magandang entry uh, hindi na natin tutuloy okay so that's what gonna be part of our rule pag uh, we're never we're not gonna enter a stock uh, if the price is in the overbought area, okay, because at this, hindi na siya, uh, hindi na maganda yung ano, yung uh, price natin at this point, okay, because we don't know uh, if this stock is gonna continue up or up fall back siya. But we're at the oversold area, overbought area, so we'll just have to wait for it for this price to go back to the overbought, oversold area. Bago natin bilhin yung stock ulit, okay. Alright, check natin ang uh, sitwasyon ng IMI. 
So IMI, kita natin na nag kasi lalim na siya ng uh, yellow trend line natin. Uh, so but still, uh, stock is moving upwards. So magtitingnan muna natin what the situation is like when the stock price is above its uh, uh, when it it's at its at its uh, overbought area. Okay. So while the stock is moving upwards, well, hindi natin pipigilan muna. Hindi natin pipigilan ang stock habang pataas siya. All right, JFC. Situation on JFC. Okay, JFC. Uh, JFC uh, situation natin sa JFC is uh, green over yellow over red. So as long as yung green trend line natin is still above the yellow trend line, we're still gonna keep our position even though yung price natin is below uh, the red uh, line. So ito may hirap pag nag-trade ka sa ng one minute chart sa isang you know sa stock market natin sa Pilipinas makikita natin na isang bar is really you know mataas yung bar natin so hindi natin ma hindi tayo maka-exit ng tama pagka ganito ang, ang bar natin okay so mga bars natin yeah very tall bars so supposedly ang pinakamagandang ano exit sa sa strategy natin is once ang price mo is as a gun below itong green line okay so at this point we could we could have just exited it pero uh, you know when you're day trading kailangan mabilis ka eh. so if you miss this good entry then uh, or good exit then you, you're faced with a situation like this na nasa ibaba ka na ng green ng red trend line but as long as yung green trend line natin is nasa ibabaw ng yellow trend line uh, bimintay lang natin tong stock na to uh, with uh, 10 more minutes left sa trading natin so most likely uh, ito na yung price niya but then we can also see na yung OBOS indicator natin is heading upwards from its uh, oversold area so I think uh, itong rent trend line natin is acting as support so uh, hopefully with less than 10 minutes umakit siya and by tomorrow uh, we'll have a better uh, exit uh, price Okay, so uh, JFC, kanina tinanong natin yung uh, Euro US dollars natin, but because uh, nagpabanjing banjing tayo, hindi tayo nagko focus sa isang stock habang nag day trade. So nakita mo, we really missed this huge move. So namis natin yung entry price natin ngayon uh, from oversold, ngayon nasa overbought na yung price, and nakita natin na. Uh, pumaas yung pressure natin ng by a lot. Okay? So, at this point, uh, if, if you want to trade this stock, uh, you can trade it downwards. Okay? So, we'll just wait for an entry uh, price heading downwards naman. For okay, going back to Euro USD, makita natin na uh, uh, nasa meron tayong signal to uh, sell this uh, security short. Okay? Uh, hintayin lang natin habang nagkitrend papataas tong uh, candlestick natin uh, I think we're mar our market is close it's uh, 3.30 so pag ni-refresh ko tong uh, screen natin we'll see what the price is like for JFC ok so uh With one minute left to market, two minutes left, uh, we're at 208. So, looking at our portfolio, I'm Instagrams or Mobile Bay computer. I don't know, either way, bagal. Alright, so we'll check uh, IMI at the situation of IMI. So green over yellow over red, ending the day. Market is now closed, so we ended our day with this uh, scenario. So looking good for tomorrow's uh, trading day. So habang uh, gaito scenario natin, we'll just uh, we'll keep the for next day. Ang, ang strategy is to keep this stock as is. Okay, so nagini kakrash system natin. 
Pagod na. I think it needs to go on a break. Alright, so makita natin. Uh, we're getting a good signal for uh, Euro USD. So, Euro USD. Let's log into Forex. We're still getting a green candlestick. So we'll see how this goes. Pag nag red pa yan. Alright, so at this point, it's giving us a good entry price. So we'll just trade it right now. Okay. So we're gonna trade it short. Sell 1,000. One in micro lot. And So we have our entry, bearish trade, it's a euro USD. So we'll just wait at this point kung mga anong situation ng stock natin. Uh, once it goes below price or the, this green trend, green trend line is below itong orange trend line natin. Which will not be for another maybe hour or so. Okay, So that's how we're going to play this euro USD. Alright, so market's already closed. Tingnan natin ang st uh, st mga status ng ating tatlong stock, IMI. IMI finished with a really good price at 15.76. So we uh, entered IMI at 15.46. And uh, yeah, 15. Hindi nag refresh to na. 15.46 Ah, yeah, there you go. 15.46 last price is 15.78 with almost up 1% profit. So with uh, 10,000 pesos, we made a profit of 104 pesos, which is 1%, not bad for day trading. Anytime you get uh, get a 1% uh return with after fees na na um so supposedly that but two percent profit ka ngayon eh, without if hindi natin consider yung fees and uh, taxes commissions and taxes all right uh jfc naman jfc we finished at 208 with green or yellow or red situation so looking really good for a good uh, trading tomorrow so 208 we entered at 206.40 okay so profit is minus 0.32 which is not bad okay and then SSI SI group uh yeah so same same situation green over yellow over red all right so good trading scenario for tomorrow uh finished really strong 4.94 entry price natin is 4.90 not bad for this uh low price stock okay all right so strategy is uh first thing Tomorrow morning, wait for the stock to spike, and usually when it spikes up, that's when you uh, really make the most profit. All right, so trading. Uh, that's early morning trading. Okay, pagka ring ng bell. All right, let's see our U US Euro USD at this point. All right, so profit. Nasa profit na tayo. Stock is heading down. As the stock keeps heading down, we're making profit. Okay, bearish uh, trade it up. So. Right, so we'll end our um, video for today. So hopefully, na uh, I helped.